And thanks so much for joining us today. In today's Daily Dose, we're sitting down with our friend Richard Acosta, who is the Community Resource Director at Harmony Home Children's Advocacy Center in Odessa. This is a great idea, a great concept, coincides with April, which is Child Abuse Prevention Month. Right. You guys are hosting a conference called Champions for Children Child Abuse Prevention Conference. That's right. We're building tomorrow's champions today. That's the theme of our conference. And okay. We're bringing in nationally recognized speakers to do our keynote addresses. We're going to have all kinds of workshops for this, and we want to train our community, we want our community to have something they can go to where they can kind of learn the ins and outs on the prevention of child abuse. So this happens on April the 10th. It'll all take place at Asbury Methodist Church, and then there is lunch included. Give me kind of the specifics, and then we'll talk about the details of the convention. How do you get tickets, where it all takes place, all that stuff. Oh yeah, not a problem. Um, the conference is $25. We want it to be affordable for everyone to be able to come, and that includes lunch. Okay. So it's $25, and that includes lunch. Um, it starts at 8 o'clock. We're going to go all the way to 5 o'clock. Lunch is going to be held off campus because we're expecting like 300 people. So we are going to have it at the MCM Elegante. Uh, so we have a facility that will hold 300 people. And at that lunchtime, uh, Dr. Ray Perryman is going to present a paper he did about how child abuse affects the local economy. So there's going to be a lot of interest in that. I suspect a lot of people are going to want to come here on that. Um, but we're going to have all kinds of speakers. We have people coming in from Dallas. We have people coming in uh, from Austin. Um, and we have some local people coming in um, doing different facets. We want this to, conference to be for uh, parents of young children. Okay. Um, when you have a young child, uh, the things to look out for, uh, to be aware, to help prevent child abuse from happening. We want, there's a professional track for like law enforcement and CPS and those that, that work with children in a professional manner. And then there is uh, youth serving organizations, especially the churches. Uh, policies that you have in place, procedures that you, that you can implement uh, to keep everybody safe. Um, our keynote speaker, when you first get there, is gonna be a woman by the name of Margaret Holzer. She is a two-time Olympian, she's a three-time medalist, and she's also a survivor of child abuse. Oh, so that'll be, I mean, a great opportunity to hear a real success story. Yeah, there. she's got a great, great story to tell, and, and she's going to be part of our conference. You so talked about Dr. Ray Perryman, which I think it's fascinating that there is a connection between our economy and children who are victims of child abuse. I mean, that's a great opportunity to really learn something about how impactful this situation is in our community. That's right. It seems like it's... Uh, People have a perception that it's a very personal thing, and it is. It, it does affect the family and the family members. I mean, it does have a long-lasting effect, and that affects the community as a whole because these resources are being used for something that was completely preventable. Absolutely, and then also the young woman who sort of sp uh, inspired Jenna's Law will be one of your other speakers as well. That has a lot to do with kids in schools and important to know about. Oh, yes, and she is, Jenna is so wonderful. I've talked to her. I have the privilege of talking to her on the phone. She's so excited about coming to the conference. Tatum, I've been overwhelmed by um, these wonderful people who are, you know, kids could speak anywhere in the nation. They could speak anywhere they want in the nation. And they've come to us and they've donated their time. Or they've said, you know, this is what I charge, but but don't let that, don't let that keep you from inviting me because I think this is important. I really, really want to do it. Um, it's going to be an amazing conference and people are already signing up for it. Um, there's a website, it's a very long website. Um, it's uh, championsforchildren.com. Um, eventbrite.com and okay. I'll, I'll give you that so we can put it on we'll the screen. We'll put the link on our Facebook page yeah, so you can absolutely. click right on it. Um, and that takes you right to where you need to go and like I said there's $25. We're providing child care. Oh, Who does that as a conference? Because we want yeah. parents to come and we don't want child care to be an issue. So we have um, some uh, people from a, one of the churches are providing their workers. The church has a whole daycare facility for um, toddlers and babies, or for babies and for toddlers. And so we're going to staff that so we'll be able to take care of some kids if parents want to come and be part of the conference. So we've done everything we can to try to get as many people there as possible. Yeah, if you have anything to do with children or even care about children in our community, this would be a great event for you to attend. It happens again on April the 20th. No, it happens again on April the 10th. You can uh, click on the link on our Facebook page or even call Harmony Home for information. Richard, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you, Ms. Yes. A closer look is coming up next. Stay with us.